he graduated from Berlin's Lausanne-Stadtisches Gymnasium in 1889. He studied mathematics, physics, and philosophy at multiple universities. He completed his doctorate in 1894 and made significant contributions to the field of philosophy. His name is Ernst Zermelo. Ernst Zermelo, a brilliant mathematician and philosopher, embarked on a lifelong journey of knowledge and discovery. Born in Berlin in 1871, Zermelo showed exceptional talent from a young age. After graduating from Lusenstatisches Gymnasium in 1889, he delved into the realms of mathematics, physics, and philosophy at esteemed universities such as Berlin, Halle, and Freiburg. Zermelo's insatiable thirst for knowledge led him to pursue a doctorate, which he achieved in 1894 from the University of Berlin. His groundbreaking dissertation on the calculus of variations earned him recognition and laid the foundation for his illustrious career. Remaining at the University of Berlin, Zermelo found inspiration in working as an assistant to the renowned physicist Max Planck, where he delved into the captivating world of hydrodynamics. In 1897, Zermelo's quest for intellectual stimulation led him to the University of Göttingen, a hub of mathematical research and innovation. It was here that he completed his habilitation thesis in 1899, solidifying his reputation as a brilliant mathematician. Zermelo's contributions to the field of mathematics continued to flourish, eventually leading him to Zurich University in 1910, where he assumed the prestigious position of Chair of Mathematics. However, the tumultuous times of the early 20th century forced Zermelo to make difficult choices. In 1916, he resigned from his position in Zurich but found solace in an honorary chair at the University of Freiburg in 1926. Ernst Zermelo, a renowned mathematician, found himself captivated by the challenges posed by David Hilbert at the Paris Conference of the International Congress of Mathematicians in 1900. Hilbert's famous list of 23 unsolved fundamental questions inspired Zermelo to embark on a journey into the depths of set theory. One of the problems that caught his attention was the continuum hypothesis, introduced by Cantor in 1878. This hypothesis aimed to explore the nature of infinite sets and their sizes. Driven by his passion for mathematical exploration, Zermelo delved into the mysteries of set theory under Hilbert's influence. In 1902, he published his first work on the addition of transfinite cardinals, showcasing his early contributions to the field. It was during this time that Zermelo also stumbled upon the Russell paradox, a paradoxical contradiction within set theory that challenged the very foundations of mathematics. In 1904, Zermelo achieved a significant breakthrough by proving the well-ordering theorem, a crucial step toward solving the continuum hypothesis. This remarkable accomplishment earned him widespread recognition, leading to his appointment as a professor in Göttingen the following year. However, his proof of the well-ordering theorem faced some skepticism from fellow mathematicians due to its reliance on the axiom of choice, a principle that posed challenges to constructive mathematics. Undeterred, Zermelo continued his pursuit of rigorous foundations for set theory. In 1908, he presented an improved proof of the well-ordering theorem, incorporating Dedekind's concept of the chain of a set. This enhanced proof garnered greater acceptance within the mathematical community. Simultaneously, Zermelo embarked on the monumental task of axiomatizing set theory, seeking a solid framework on which to base his mathematical explorations. Zermelo's efforts culminated in 1908 when he published his seminal work on set theory, offering his axiomatization of the subject. Although he was unable to prove the consistency of his axiomatic system, his groundbreaking contributions laid the groundwork for further developments in the field. In 1922, Abraham Frankel and Thorolf Skolem made significant improvements to Zermelo's axiom system, resulting in the widely used Zermelo-Frankel axioms, which form the basis of modern axiomatic set theory. Zermelo's tireless exploration of set theory not only pushed the boundaries of mathematical understanding but also paved the way for future generations of mathematicians to grapple with the profound questions that lie at the heart of this discipline. His work continues to shape our understanding of infinity, infinite sets, and the fundamental principles that underpin the mathematical universe. Ernst Zermelo, a renowned mathematician, proposed an intriguing problem in 1931 that has since become known as Zermelo's navigation problem. This classic conundrum revolves around the navigation of a boat on a body of water, from a starting point O to a destination point D. The goal is to find the optimal control strategy that allows the boat to reach its destination in the shortest possible time. In its simplest form, without accounting for external forces such as current and wind, the optimal control strategy is quite straightforward. The boat should always head directly towards point D, resulting in a straight line path from O to D. This path is intuitively the fastest route to the destination, making it the obvious choice. However, when we introduce the complexities of currents and winds, the optimal control strategy becomes more elusive. 
The combined forces of these external factors may influence the boat's trajectory, making the straight line path from O to D no longer the most efficient route. In such cases, the control strategy that works best without any current or wind is no longer optimal. Zermelo's navigation problem challenges us to find the ideal control strategy that takes into account the influence of external forces, enabling the boat to reach its destination in the shortest possible time. By considering factors such as the direction and strength of the current and wind, we can calculate the optimal path that minimizes the overall travel time. This mathematical problem may seem abstract, but its principles can actually be applied to our daily lives. Just as the boat must navigate through external forces, we too encounter various challenges and obstacles that can affect our journey towards our goals. Zermelo's navigation problem reminds us to assess these external factors and adjust our approach accordingly, seeking the most efficient and effective path to success. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.